solving that other problem, we had the value of a variable, right? The ver other one was pretty easy because it said a equaled negative 2, right? Here we don't have that. We have two equations. So when you're solving a system by substitution, what we have to do is find the value of one of the variables. Basically what we have to do is solve for one of the variables. And the, the best way to do that is to choose a variable that has a coefficient of 1 or negative 1. So Jacob, which of my variables has a coefficient of 1 or negative 1? This x right here, right? So what I'm going to do is I am going to solve for that x. So I have x plus 2y equals 12. To solve for x, I subtract 2y. x equals negative 2y plus 12. Does everybody see? Now, all I did was I took this equation and rewrote it like this. Yes? I just solved for x. I just put x by itself. Now, the difference with this is, so now I'm going to rewrite my equation as 7x minus 3y equals negative 1, and x equals negative 2y plus 12. So all I did, I'm just rewriting the problem. But when you're doing substitution, you want to make sure you have a variable that is solved, that's by itself. Because now, do we know the value of x? Yeah. Yes. The value of x, though, is not a number. The value of x is now an expression. The value of x is now negative 2y plus 12. It's nice when it's just a number, because you just plug in the number. But now it's an expression. So now we have to plug in that whole expression in for x. If this was just a number, you would put the number in for x. Now it's an expression. So you put the whole expression in for x. Does everybody see what I did? Yeah. Now we need to apply um, distributive property. Plus 7, that's going to be 84. Minus 3y equals negative 1. Now here's another one of the more common mistakes students make. <clears throat> Remember, guys, these variables are on the same side. You don't like add 14 or add 3y to get rid of them. You can just combine these. That's negative 14y minus 3y. Right? So that's going to become negative 17y plus 81 equals negative 1. 84, I'm sorry. Subtract 84. Negative 17y equals negative 85. Now, thirty-five um, or thirty-four four, so that goes in there five times. Okay? So now we know the value of y is five. Right? Now, again, we need to figure out what x is though. So again, I go back to this equation. If I know y equals five to solve for x, I just put in five in for y. So now x equals 2, y equals 5. And when you have x and if you have x and y, you can write it as a coordinate point, 2, comma 5. So going back to our original discussion, remember, remember how we solved these last homework for those of you that did it? We graphed these. And when we graphed them, if they intersected, they intersected at a point. And that point was the solution. Well, now, algebraically, we can find the solution without having to graph them. Amazing.